I'm Caleb Dennison, and this is DT Daily. Coming up, Apple's iWatch may predict heart attacks, a truck that turns into a boat, and a harsh lesson for all you video rental scofflaws out there. Yesterday, we reported that Apple may work with automaker Tesla on something, and now we hear that the Cupertino company may build some serious medical diagnostics into its smartwatch, if it ever decides to release one. The San Francisco Chronicle reports Apple's top sound guy, Tomlinson Holman, the inventor of THX, has been looking into tech that can predict heart attacks using the sound blood makes when it's moving through clogged up arteries. That kind of thing could easily fit in a watch, and it may also indicate how different Apple's iWatch, which no one has ever actually seen, may be from the rest of the field when or if it ever comes out. It may also show that Apple is going to branch out from its base of current phone and computer tech and begin to ease the medical devices field into the consumer mainstream. Not long ago, we featured this cool car, the Panther, which could also swim as needed. But what if you need a bit more utility in your floating vehicle of choice? Then you need this, the Humdinga. Yep, it's a truck that's a boat, and it's a boat that can haul ass. It's actually more of a vehicle for the zombie apocalypse than a tool for reeling in bikini-clad passengers. Its creator, Gibbs, says the Humdinga can hit 30 miles per hour on the water using twin water jets. On dry land, it can scale steep grades, carry seven lucky passengers, hit freeway speeds, and of course, water really isn't an obstacle, ever. The price? Gibbs hasn't said yet, but probably a bit more than a typical F-150, which we all know will sink like a big metal rock if you try to take it for a swim down at the lake. And finally, remember video stores? Yeah, we barely do either. But the long arm of the law doesn't forget, and police in the nearly crime-free town of Perkins, South Carolina, recently jailed Kayla Finley for a night when a records check showed she was wanted for not returning a VHS copy of Monster-in-Law to the local video store in 2005. I swear, we're not kidding here, she actually did rent Monster-in-Law. Seriously though, a night in the clink is a bit much for a movie that's been roundly trashed by pretty much everyone. But the cops said they were just doing their job. Finley said she was outraged and plans to fight the charges. So you might want to check under your entertainment center for that dusty copy of Geely you never sent back to Blockbuster. Or you could be looking at 10 to Life. In embarrassment anyway. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.